I remember uh, my father coming home one day all excited. Kids, you have to see this, get in the car and driving us out to one of the causeways. And we got a nice, nice view of it. And I just remember uh, the sense of excitement that uh, my sister and I and my father had in looking at this strange thing that seemed to have been uh, dropped down by aliens, but that was just beautiful, it was just glorious. So did you all look at it like art? Was your family into art? Or was this just something that everyone just really was excited not, about? Not, not really, not, we didn't, I don't think we connected to it as artwork necessarily. And I think that's one of the, the most beautiful things about Christo and Jean-Claude's work. It, in a way, transcends labels. I mean, it's clearly art, but it blows past uh, what many people associate with art. You know, it goes way beyond uh, painting, sculpture, um, installation, uh, and, and treads into new territory. Now, do you think something like this could happen again? Uh, well, I mean, nothing like this, nothing exactly like this will ever happen again. They, uh, of course, they never repeat their projects. Uh, they, um, they describe surrounded islands uh, as a flower that blossoms and uh, goes away afterward. It is by, na by nature ephemeral, and that applies not just to surrounded islands, but all of their large exterior projects. Now, a project of this scale? Yes, I hope so. I hope that surrounded islands and this exhibition would help, if nothing else, to reinforce this sense that ambitious artistic projects are possible in Miami and that Miami is actually fertile ground for this kind of uh, radical artistic thinking. <laughs>